Game number one, 720 poly shot versus Machete. It's like, you're gonna beat PR number one, then lose to PR number six? <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, that's the way it be sometimes. We'll see. 720 poly shot's been looking great on this Mordex though, but Machete's Ogrim has been nothing to laugh at either. Now granted, we were talking about before, didn't use a whole lot of SIGs. They did start finally coming out toward the end of that set with Flamethrower. But 720 poly shot on the other hand was making a lot of use of both the Scythe and SIG and the Gauntlet D SIG. Good down lights. Uh, I'm really curious, uh, depending on how this set goes, if Machete is going to make that swap over to the Mordex or if he's going to just stick with Ulgrim for the entirety of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering the same thing here. I mean, it probably will depend on you know, how close these matches are slash if he even loses. Because okay. right now, Machete is getting the better end of Polyshot. Not by much, but by enough. And Machete is going to keep trying to KO people with neutral lights, I guess. He's, he's <laughs> perfectly fine with it. He's, he's learned that it's a uh, kill tool. It's going to be the side air, though, that will give the first knockout. Machete with the lead. Plenty of health, high defense on this Ulgrim. Okay. Oh, and the active frames on the unarmed neutral light is able to catch Poly Shot. Manages to get him with that D-Light as well. And Poly Shot actually gets a good amount of damage there. Goes for grab cancel D-Sig there. Doesn't get a huge punish, which is lucky break as well, because without a dodge, Poly Shot could have done okay. quite a bit. And gets the soft side light into the neutral SIG. Beautiful play from 720 Poly Shot. That SIG covers a fair amount of dodge options there. I think that's one thing we'll see in the, the uh, end game screens is that disparity in signature usage. Poly Shot, very unafraid to throw out those signatures willy nilly, whereas Machete uh, will probably not break five signatures thrown out in the entire set. Oh. Oh, that's how it's going to be tough for Polyshot here. Yeah, he won't be able to make it back. Only had, I think, just a dodge and one singular yeah. jump. So, tough break. Um, throughout that Nair, was really hoping, like, some miracle body would appear so he could get that touch for the chase dodge. But now it's Pachete. Nice. Got the lead, but he's getting hit a little bit, getting caught by this side. Oh, and I like this. We saw the last time that uh, Machete got that D-Light on the Rocket Lance, that Polyshot jumped. So he was like, all right, well, I'm going to cut that option now. And so he's been going for either jump Sayer okay. or jump Nair every time he lands to that Rocket Lance D-Light. No, but Polyshot is hitting that end sig. Will likely have better KO efficiency. Oof. Oh, man. Yeah, Polyshot is struggling. Let's see. Machete tries to go for the grab and cancel side light. And kind of go for a light. Sidelight recoveries now. Falling stairs might Ooh. do it. The end light sends so high now. Yeah. Like, he's built up a lot of damage on Machete, but this is still, it's a sight. There aren't those, like, those true knockout options like a sword has with the D-Light recovery. Instead, okay. he's going to hit the sidelight recovery, but he needs to get the Gimp. He is so damaged here. Yeah, I mean, if he gets the 50 50, I'll take him around 70 some odd damage. He'll have, you know, a decent spot to rack up some more, but. Machete could just wake up, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. he's like, dang, boom, just just like that, just hits him with a Sayer, and Machete takes game one pretty convincingly, 720 poly shot, he's struggling here, man. Yeah, definitely a, a bit of a rough one. I will say, like, in terms of, like, character matchups, you got to give it to Machete. Of course, yeah, he's got the 1-0 uh, history, but even so, like, Olgrim, I think, just has a little bit of a better matchup into the Mordex. That Lance is really, really good at beating out a lot of the things that Mordexes want to do. Yeah, it's, it's especially strong against the Gauntlets as well. Kind of box it out with the N Light, D Light, Neutral Air, all things that kind of stuff someone who's trying to do a Gauntlet, D Light, or a Side Light. And so we'll see what Polyshot's answer is going to be here. I think, honestly, for, for him, he should probably try to elect to strike to force Machete to pick a smaller stage because so far. It's, uh, I don't know. I feel like Mammoth is just too much space. Yeah, I mean, it, it's generally the all-round map, but there are some maps that might help lean it more in 720 Polyshot's favor. Right now, things are going back and forth. I almost want to see Polyshot make the character swap. Like, I don't know if Gauntlets are the answer for this matchup, but we'll see how well it plays out. Yeah, I think that's two. important to mention as well, because, you know, maybe you don't want the Gauntlet's fate. Might be, might be the yeah. pick here. Oh, wish out they did a SIG. <laughs> Get the punish though. Yeah, Machete's thrown out what two six so far? I think so. Yeah, I think they were both, both N six. <laughs> nice. Ooh, the punish. Okay, not quite enough. Definitely going very far with that one. I see, Polyshot's gonna go to the gauntlets. 
and then switch back to the Scythe just for the Starve. I think he actually wants the Gauntlets for the KO options, right? Because you see he's going for a lot of raw signatures here. He's like, how do I kill? He doesn't know how to find that Ooh. KO. Yo, but Machete does find it with the side light side air. All right, Axe Struggle. Goes to the side. Catches him out the air, manages to pick up the weapon, but then once again, how is Polyshot going to find the knockout? It's going to be a raw down sig, right? A lot of them, a lot of the KOs, they're just they're just raw signatures. Maybe a soft setup. We see like the soft side light from the side sometimes, but it's tough. I mean, that's what worked really well in his matchup against Akno was just those gauntlet D-Sigs hitting, punishing those wake-ups. Not that oh. I think Machete is playing Oof. quite Wait, the same on. way punish. Ah, oh, that didn't hit. Oh, he needed that recovery to hit. Needed to beat out the Lance recovery, but Machete is gonna get the side air, and now things are looking real good for Machete. Yeah, it's tough. He was able to hit Polyshot right before he was about to touch the ground, so Polyshot just jumped into the kill box there because he didn't have any options. Okay. okay. I was like, you're not gonna go off stage against the Lance? You're crazy. Oh, uh -oh. you burned a lot here. Where's the nice. Oh, tried to nice. stuff it. It's actually a sick way to get back to the stage there, because I don't know if we would have been able to do it without getting hit by that recovery. Yeah. I mean, getting hit by that recovery gives him that extra jump to guarantee that wall touch, but he really wanted that stock. Almost got it, too. Machete going to make the swap over to the Axe. Polyshot's getting some damage. Okay, That's not going to do it. Maybe a D-Light recovery would be enough here if he can land it, but Machete's Axe is looking hard to beat. Getting a lot of damage. Polyshot goes for oh, another D-Sig. Oh, oh, what the down sig? Okay. <laughs> the break dance right on top of him. I, said, I can't believe Machete went for that. You, you no sigs, and the one you decide to pick for the read is the, is the down sig. That's, that's crazy. He sliced them up. It's crazy because I'm pretty sure the end sig would have worked there too. Like mm -hmm. That's like essentially the same read cover, but the neutral light will do it. Machete takes game number two, and he's thrown out three six. So, so far, I I'm holding true to the fact that I don't think he's going to throw out more than five in the set. And Polyshot's making the swap to a Surrey? Okay. This is, this is a different church, right? This isn't the Church of Taros. This is the Church of a Surrey, uh, which I also don't have a problem with. Asuri's not ignorant, she's just, uh, I don't know, annoying, <laughs> you know, like, she's, she's not going to do anything that you get, you're like, oh man, wow, I'm so mad I got hit by that, it's just going to be like Katar Ensig, that's the only one that, that really gets Yeah, liked. I was going to say, like, Katar Ensig is definitely the one that makes makes a lot of people mad, but Like, you know, it. right, like, every time yeah. you're like, ah, oh, I, I knew that was going to happen. You kind of like, you nod your head, you're like, alright, yeah, I deserve yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> So far, up. you know, the 720 Asuri is looking a lot more comfortable already, right? Because I think just in knowing that one, you have a couple stronger neutral tools, but also the KOs should be a lot easier for yeah. Polyshot to find. He'll have D-Light Recovery as an option. He'll have some safer light attacks to work with as well. Making the swap over to the Katars. Doesn't go for anything off the end light. Instead, just trying to see how Machete is going to react. This is the same thing I was saying earlier when the we made the swap to the Caspian, right? It's like, you need to see how they dodge. Yeah. Because that's the other thing, too. With Katars, if his reaction time is feeling frisky, he can just react off of the neutral light and say, oh, he went to the side. All right, I'm going to go for the jump recovery. But, like, it's really tough to do consistently. If he dodges oh, down, though. ground pound? He just, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I do not know what that one was. That was the craziest ground pound I have seen. D-Light recovery, though, and he's still not able to finish this stock off. The defense from Machete. Okay. Goes for the recovery. Enough. It's not enough. That defense, man. Gravity cancel D-Light, maybe? Beefy no. Boy. Just does it raw. Okay. That's okay. going to catch uh, Machete unaware. Because I think Machete was probably expecting the gravity cancel D-Light as well and yeah. was spacing around that. Nice. Oh, I thought he was going to recovery him there. He didn't have a dodge. Keeps it simple. Okay. He's still getting these taps, getting some good damage built up. He's got to deny these weapons from Machete. Machete gets it with the unarm. All right, going to falling there. Machete's in the corner here. He's going to use the soft platform to work his way back up. And Polyshot goes for, like, soft reaction there. He oh. delights the wrong way. And Machete, oh, no, oh. he missed input, right? I think he had his recovery. I didn't see him use it. Yeah, I was really expecting the recovery, but he just fell off the whiff side air. 
Oh man, just like that, Polyshot might be taking a trip to the loser's bracket here, man. Down against the ropes 2-0, or rather 0-2 from the perspective of Polyshot. Needs to make the comeback right now. Wasn't able to get the half pipe somehow. I don't know why that one dropped. And so now, you know, there's a lot of work to do, but has been touched yet, if anything. Well, as I say that, well, down light. He's a dunk, maybe? Machete. Still healthy. It's gonna take a lot for 720 poly shot. And he's not getting the big the big damage with the Katars. Like he's getting a tap, and that's about it. Like just there, got a sidelight and nothing else. Okay, Machete's like, where's the weapon spawn on the left side? Which means he can run for it. Poly shot probably a little sad about that one, but that's gonna be okay. He's still getting these hits. Oh, he missed the punish. They're whipping around each other, but Poly shot is the one who's getting the hits, right? Machete is just straight up whipping. And honestly, this is in the realm of possibility now for Poly Shot. Oh. Nice, he does this soft jump and then reacts with the recovery to see which way he dies. That's a great way to do it. Really well done from 720 Poly Shot. Now it's final stocks here in game number three. 720 Poly Shot needs this to keep his winner's bracket dream alive. Nice. Oh, snap. Here's that damage, but he doesn't hit the down air. Still, that was a lot. I mean, just like that, this game is mostly back to even. Asuri has less defense, though. You have to keep that in mind. Manages to dodge this air. Thank the heavens for Polyshot, he's thinking. Needs to survive here to stay alive. No punish. Oh, my gosh. He can go for something a lot stronger there. I'm surprised he's just going for, like, like that has a surprising amount of end lag on that move. He can go for, like, a SIG or something. But he's like, oh, I'm just going to get my one hit and keep it pushing. Dude, I respect it. I love that, that move. Oh. What are you going to do here? It's in the corner. Can you get out? Man, just to get over the air. The weapon spawns directly in the middle of the stage, though. And the end light might be enough. D light's not enough, but one more might. Maybe two more, depending. I can't tell yet. Oh, he stopped the end light with a side light somehow. This is tough. Ah! This is tough. Polyshot still needs a lot of damage. Oh, no. Oh, the neutral light. That almost oh, did that it any scary. further right, and that could have done it. Side air, not even going to put Machete <gasps> off the stage. Oh, no! It was the dunk! That's and it. that'll do it. Machete takes it 3-0 to win the winner's bracket fight, and he will be going on into the winner's final to fight simple. Oh, man, just like that. I'll say that was the closest match, right? Like Out of the three that we saw, the switch to the Asuri yeah. proved not to be a bad, bad option. Um, but just wasn't quite enough. And we could see Polyshot was really clutching toward the end here, but just got caught on the landing, right? That usually most people won't swing there. Machete kind of did an early stare there because a lot of people will jump a second time, maybe burn their dodge there. And usually people bait that option out, but Machete said, you know what? No, nah, it's it's good. I, I'm just going for this because I haven't done this really too much. So, dang. Really well done. Machete going to guarantee a top three.